So today I want to talk about how not to copy Casey Neistat. If you don't know who Casey Neistat is, then where have you been in the last wee while? So yeah, Casey Neistat, that guy right there. He's a YouTuber, he runs his own business, his own company. He just recently signed a deal to CNN for quite a lot of money. Ting. And yeah, he's a very big YouTuber. He's not the biggest YouTuber, he's not got the most subscriptions, but his channel certainly had the biggest growth of subscribers in the shortest period of time before he stopped doing his incredible daily vlogs, which I really enjoyed. But there is this whole thing going around YouTube now where people are getting really annoyed when other YouTubers are ripping them off or just copying his stuff completely. I know Ben Brown did a video on it. I know Sarah Dietschy kind of got one of her first big hits was a kind of tribute to him, which he then gave a shout out to and then she got a few thousand more subscribers because of that. But yeah, and I want to talk about today about how not to, to copy him because it's actually really difficult when you're doing the same sort of thing, same sort of YouTube stuff, it's very difficult not to copy someone like that. Someone that's kind of revolutionized the game and had such a big change in it all, it's tough not to copy him. The reason why I don't include shots like this in my videos is because people think I'm copying them. Or I don't do time lapses like this with cranes in them, or a shot like this, or this, or this, or this, or I don't zoom into my face, or I don't wear Ray-Bans when it's not even sunny. The reason why I don't do those things is because I know if I do, then people will just go to the comments and be like, oh, you're copying Casey Neistat. I say that a lot in other YouTubers' videos, actually. You know, if someone's wearing Ray-Bans, if someone's doing time lapses, if someone's using this sort of music, Yeah, you can hear like all the high voices and stuff like that. Then people immediately think you're copying them. Yeah, it's really tough because that stuff seems really good and it seems like you want to do that sort of stuff. So how on earth do you not copy them? Well, I've got two tips before I get told off by the people that are coming towards me right now. First of all, you actually have to copy them to find out what works and what doesn't work. And then go from that. You don't know until you start. So at least start, copy them a little bit and then see what works. And then second of all, try to go your own way a little bit. Maybe try not to use the booster board and the Ray-Bans and the time lapses and stuff like this quite as much. Try and work out what works for you. Try and work out what jokes work for you and your YouTube channel and go forward from there. But you also don't know that stuff until you actually try it. So I would actually start by copying them and seeing what works and then go your own way. And try not to fly drones around your city and wear Ray-Bans and zoom into your face quite a lot and do stuff like that because otherwise people will think that you're copying them and on that note I'm going to end the video like this No, I'm just kidding, I'm going to end it with this sort of music I think it's going to rain very soon